All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck, it's been a long time. Uh, welcome to the Culture Shock. I am your host, Seth McFoddlestick. Well, n- name Seth McKendry, but fuck it. Who cares? It is my show. I can do whatever the fuck I want. No one can tell me what to do. It's my show. Who cares? My guest today is a person I've known for... <sighs> fuck, we'll get into that. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hey, my name's Rachel. Um, I've been a friend of Seth's for like, what, five years now? Since middle school, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's, it's so long. Yeah, it's a <laughs> very long time. Um, yeah, uh, I play video games and I go to UC Merced for biology. That's about it. You're, you're officially doing more than I am. Oh, man. College kid over here and shit. Living life. <laughs> you, you can fucking you, you wait a few months and then I'll learn how to make some fucked up movies and. I'll Yo, I'm excited movies. for that. Can't wait to watch. Cause think about it this way: if I make some fucked up horror films, then you gotta know someone's dick is getting ripped off and they're bleeding <laughs> out from their injuries. Oh my god. So, I mean, you know me. You know how this works. You've known my train of thought for about five years now. I I love it. It's so yeah. interesting. It, well, uh, you don't want to get too deep, trust me, because I don't <laughs> even want to get that deep. All right. So, first question is, how did we meet? Um, band class. It was my first day at school, and you like were the first person to talk to me. Which is really super fucking weird because I don't mean to interrupt you because I don't want to be that guy that interrupts his fucking guests. But if I could bounce off that, uh, see, I'm using insider terms. I kind of know what I'm doing (laughs) now. (laughs) But um, what's really fucking weird is I was talking to my brother the other day and I was like, you know, it's really strange. I'm a podcast host, but I'm shy as fuck. I don't know how to talk to people. (laughs) Imagine. It's, it's really weird, man. Like, I, I can't hold a conversation with somebody unless they're, like, my brother or, like, you know, a good friend of mine. Yeah. I can't be like, hey, how you doing? And then fucking go on from there. I can't do that. <laughs> it gets pretty hard sometimes, not gonna lie. It's really fucking weird, man, how I'm supposed to be a podcast host and good at talking to people, but I'm shy as all shit. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't talk to people. <laughs> it's really weird. It's cool. Don't worry about it, man. We all struggle. So, uh, we met through band class, right? Yes, sir. And uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of band class, uh, you remember that one time I broke a drumstick? <laughs> oh, my God. You literally said you were going to shank someone with it. You <laughs> sharpened it. And that was our joke for, like, up until sophomore year. Oh, dude, it's still a joke. Trust me. They're I around here somewhere. <laughs> It's still, oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's going to be like a family heirloom, man. <laughs> it's going to, yeah. But I think what happened was I was, I was playing drums and then uh, I hit like the metal part of the drum and the fucking, the stick snapped in half. Okay. And I remember the top, the, like, it snapped right in half, directly in the middle. <laughs> so it just, whew, Bro. Right? And, uh. Like, and the fucking, the top of the stick flew and hit me in the head. And then fucking Mr. What's-His-Name, whoever was teaching us at the time, uh, he was like, he was like, stop, motherfucker broke a drumstick. Well, he didn't say that, but, you know. Something like that. Just to paraphrase. He broke a drumstick. Stop it. We're fucked. So, (laughs) uh, yeah, I broke a drumstick. And and then I told him, I was like, I... I went up to him and I was like, yeah, I broke a drumstick. He was like, here's another pair. Go back to your station. I was like, oh, all right, man. If I'm being honest, I think I've broken at least $20 worth of drumsticks in my life. (laughs) It's not not a good thing to do. (laughs) I've broken more drumsticks than I have guitar strings, though, which is good. (laughs) Because guitar strings are fucking expensive. They're just like drumsticks, dude. (laughs) They're like 20 bucks a pack. Fuck. All right. So, uh, next question is first impressions. First impressions. Hmm. I mean, 
it was my first day at a new school in a completely new town. Like, I never moved before, so I was, like, really shy. But I thought you were a cool dude, man. Like, it was really chill of you to just come up to me and say hi. I felt comfortable. I, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that, to be honest with you. No, like, honestly, everyone else in the band class, like, creeped me out. But... And I... Well, sorry to interrupt you, but how, what the fuck? How am I the one you choose? Like, <laughs> I would I expect know. to be the last guy. <laughs> you're just like, there's something. You're you're really chill. I mean, and I mean, you're funny. Well, well, it's, it depends on who you talk to on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, but to me, you're always chill. So, you know why I'm funny? Why? Because I'm a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. I don't care. Oh, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. That's why I'm funny. <laughs> and I'm being completely honest. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. If it offends you, good job. I did my. I did my part. <laughs> I mean, hell, have you not seen my Twitter over the last fucking two months? <laughs> it's just you know, if I can offend somebody, I know I did something right. It's, it's all I can say. Because, you know, I can give a fuck about your feelings. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, what? Yeah, we talked about how long we've known each other, right? Already? Yeah. This is like five years. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, I'm super professional. I can't keep track of what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so, how did we uh, reconnect? Um... Well, how was it? Because beginning of sophomore year, I started online school. And then I think you told me happy birthday. I'm not sure exactly. But it was something One through Instagram and we caught up. And then we lost contact for junior year. Bring it up to senior year. You joined my Discord and that's when we started. Oh, yeah. And then you were like, oh, you fucking lost your mind. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so happy. I You're like, fuck. Oh my gosh. You're I not dead. Yay. <laughs> Bro, I was so happy. Oh my gosh. See, at least I can fucking, you know, do that for somebody. Because, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, uh, you said we lost contact junior year, right? Yeah, I like just disappeared on everyone. You just fucking cut everybody off. You're like, fuck you guys, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, people thought I died, and then others <laughs> thought I already moved. People think I don't live in our town still. Like, no, fuck? I'm still here. I, I don't move yet. We were just like, hi. <laughs> I mean, I, I really wanted to do this in person, but, you know, the circumstances being what they are, I'll just fucking, we'll just do it this way. It'll be cool. Yeah, Next fine. time, we'll do it in person, though. And yeah. we'll smoke a little bit as a herd a little bit, you know. Oh my god, yes. Because, dude. Oh, and you know what we gotta do? All right. What? So, <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of the movie The Big Lebowski? I've heard of it, but I haven't watched it yet. Dude. Oh my god. The movie's so fucking funny. Really? <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> like, it's so funny. I've watched it like four times already. <laughs> and it just gets funnier every time. God damn. So. That's how you know the movie's good. So, uh, you said we lost contact junior year. So, that was, uh, that was the, since I, once I got to high school, I started wrestling. Ooh. Since, I think you've known ever since I met you that I'm gonna grow up to be a fucking, I'm gonna grow up and kick the shit out of people for money. And oh, get, hell yeah. Get, well, I'm gonna get put through tables and I'm gonna fake fight people in tights. <laughs> and get paid a fuck ton of money for it by an <laughs> angry old man who does who's not in touch with the real world. But yeah, it, I, I'm just saying if you see me flipping through if you're flipping through channels one day, and then you're like, oh, who's that fucking guy? And then you see me getting put through a table on fire or something with like thumbtacks in my head or some shit, you'd be like, oh yeah, he landed on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, yeah, he did good for himself. Fucking putting his body through hell every night. There you go. And, 
So speaking of uh, the whole wrestling thing, so there's this one deathmatch wrestler named Bam Sullivan, which I think you've seen. If you've seen my Twitter, you've seen me interact with him a few times. Uh-huh. He's, I've known about him since he started wrestling in 2015. So it's been like five, six years at this point. And then in like 2018, I fucking finally mustered up the courage to be like, yo, what's up, dude? Because <laughs> you know me, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm nice, I would say nice, but I just don't talk to many people. You know what I mean? I, I'm i that guy that if he's at a party, he's in the corner and fucking smoke or not smoking. He's in the corner on his phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, I hate the rest of the world. You know, it's one of those. I'm not a huge, like, interacting with other people guy, which is weird because fucking hence what we're doing. You know what I mean? But uh, I was talking to him, and I've been trying to get him to just sit down and have a conversation with him. And the first conversation I had with him was since I was going into weight training freshman year and for, like, wrestling and all that stuff. Uh, I asked him about like weight regimens and like what I should do. Mm-hmm. And then he fucking, he was like, let me drive my buddy home. It'll take two hours. I'll be, I'll be right back. I got you. <laughs> and then I talked to him for like fucking four hours about how like you need to have a regimen. And then if you, if you don't have a diet, it'll fuck everything up. Cause you can't just be eating, you know, Twinkies and chips and then lifting weights and seeing, trying to see results. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, uh, I finally talked to him. I was like, yo, I finally got my podcast set up and uh, I would love to have you as a guest. And he was like, all right, cool. And we, since he lives in New York, fucking 9 p.m. his time is 6 p.m. in California and 10 p.m. his time is 7 p.m. in California. And uh, since I was supposed to interview him yesterday for the podcast, but he went to Florida and wrestled in a deathmatch tournament and got fucked up. Like, it, 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 was some re- it was some real nice shit. Like, he got fucked up. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's totally off topic. <laughs> All right. All right, load, load, load. Yep, he got fucked up. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. What the this heck? Is, this is just... Because there was bar- barbed wire in his shirt. And this was just from taking off his fucking shirt. And he told me that this was the most pain he's ever fucking been in. What the hell? Yeah, it's what he does for a living. <laughs> so, uh, I am not going to be a deathmatch wrestler. Because I spent <laughs> the first six months of my life in the hospital. I never want to go back. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd rather just be a, uh, a wrestler that suplexes people. And like, you know. <laughs> I'd rather be a traditional wrestler like Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock before he went to Hollywood. But uh, it was junior year. I really got into wrestling and I got in really good shape and uh, it, it kind of faded away. Oh, and, me too. Me too. Yeah, Don't worry. Like, like, dude, I got in really good wrestler shape. I got down to like, since what you got to do for wrestling is you got to cut weight for tournaments. Uh-huh. And what sucks is you have to like shave your beard and stuff for Ooh. tournaments because you can't wrestle with, with that uh-huh. and at this time i had a mop head <laughs> i had a mop head so i went to wrestling practice with it right and i wrestled with it and i was like fuck me this is not fun so i shaved my head and then i had to shave my beard and then i got down to about maybe my normal weight is like say 170, 180, maybe. I got down to like 167, 165. Yeah. And I was like, I was built, dude. It was, it was, I was looking real good. And then, uh, you know, soft senior year happened, and then I wasn't allowed to wrestle because of you know circumstances. Mm-hmm. And then you know, kind of got fat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got fat, and I was like, I just lost all motivation for life. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to be wrestling in front of people, so why not? <laughs> and then, you know, I joined your Discord server, and then you proceeded to lose your shit. 
Bro, I was so <laughs> excited. You're like one of the only people in this town I don't mind keeping contact with. Why is that? <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. Like, what the fu- How am I so fucking special? <laughs> it's just like, out of everyone, you just, you mind your own shit. You don't involve yourself with drama and like make unnecessary drama. That it was just like relaxing, you know? Yeah. Whereas so, everyone, oh my continue, god. Continue. Everyone in this town just gives me a headache. A literal headache. I can't do it. I'll be one of them. Trust me. Give me about 30 minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you know how you said uh, I don't involve myself in drama? Uh-huh. That's really fucking weird because I'm a dick. <laughs> well, you're a dick, but, like, you don't go around like how everyone else does. I'm just not like, hey, buddy. You're an asshole. <laughs> and then I just walk away. <laughs> yeah. I, I just tell it like it is. I don't sugarcoat shit. Like, Which you have not amazing. earned my respect enough to, for me to sugarcoat shit. <laughs> I mean, hell, you've known me for five years. And have I ever sugarcoated anything? No, thank you. Have God. I ever been nice? <laughs> like, well, you've always been nice to me. But it's just like, you don't off. sugarcoat. <laughs> you've never been rude to me. I've never been like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> really? <laughs> never? You have, but like in a friendly way. Not I, just like. How? You... I don't know how to explain it, man. <laughs> how? how... <laughs> You're. Oh. What? I... I... Explain. I, My mind I can't understand this. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just like you've never been rude. Like, yeah, you'll make jokes, but it's just nothing that I would get, like, upset or, like, butt her over. Because you make Asian jokes yourself, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, commonplace. I mean, yeah. You're like, I'm smart, so I'm, I'm Asian, so I'm smart. And those are your words, not mine. Don't fucking, it, they Twitter, are. don't get mad at me. <laughs> They're my words, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, don't don't be mad at me. I This is straight from the sheep's mouth. I'm just... <laughs> We were we were in class one day, and she told the teacher, "I'm I'm Asian, so I'm smart." And oh then the my teacher God, was Mr. like, Atkins. The t- no, the fucking um, it was it was another teacher. It was a chick. Chick, Miss Coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, it was some other teacher. She was a chick. I can't remember her fucking name, but I remember you were like, "I'm Asian, so I'm smart, so we'll pass the test." And then she was like, she was just like, "I can't comment." <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I passed the test considering I've never gotten the lower, <laughs> yeah. like, A minus. So, obviously, I passed it Most it. likely, you passed the test. <laughs> yeah, man. So, this is the first time we've legitimately sat down. Well, not I don't know if you're sitting down or not, but yeah, sat sitting. down <laughs> and had a conversation and fuck. How long? At least three years. At least. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, fuck. <laughs> I, I have, I, yeah, just Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So tell the fine folks of the internet um, how band class, like, uh, how band <laughs> class was like with us. Jesus. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay, so we met end of seventh grade. Band class was basically non-existent. We did not have a teacher. We had Mr. Fucking what's his name, Sclavanides, who I For still like talk to weeks. every now and again. Yeah, I remember. Uh, that was the height. You remember fucking middle school? I used to get um, fucking suspended over everything. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Like that was the highest. If I had to put my uh, suspension rate <laughs> in uh, in uh, like in fucking percentage wise throughout the three years of um middle school it was probably like a 50 to 60 percent rate and it was Jeez. all within seventh grade and eighth grade because i was a i was a um i was a person who hated everything and just wanted to tell the teacher to go fuck himself so i mean yeah <laughs> 
but uh yeah from what band class was existent what was it like was it a fucking crock of shit or what <laughs> um compared to all my old band classes it was not the greatest i'd say it was probably like the worst when i've been in it was just like i don't know it wasn't organized not that many people in the class even enjoyed music they were just <laughs> there to do it so it was really different for me all the wind ensembles are just like um everyone was passionate about it and then i go to that school they're just like i don't even want to do this they're just like well fuck <laughs> yeah man so they're like oh fuck me all right i guess i gotta do this now <laughs> All right, so um, from what I remember in band class, uh, we fucking sat, we put the tables in like a circle, and we were like, oh, we're depressed. Let's talk about how much we hate our lives. <laughs> like, <laughs> you remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, let's remember how much we hate our lives and how we're going to die before we're 25. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, you remember when fucking that one chick found the um, videos of Mr. What's his name? He was like a sing, sing song teacher or something. It what was like Blue's Clues, but for music. You remember that shit? Wait, oh my god, yes. No, it was like Dora the Explorer. He was like, can you yes. say this word? Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That was something else. I remember she brought it up in class, and he was like, that was a long time ago. <laughs> he tried to play it off. Oh he was like, that was a long time ago. Forgive me. <laughs> and what I can also remember from band class is I was just sitting there in the back playing music, right? And then I just look over at you, and you're like, you're just, you know, not... I mean, you are paying attention, but you're just in the fucking flute section going, Ooh, like, you're... You're like Ron Burgundy with the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you're not drinking vodka out of a flute. But, you know, you know. I mean, I would have if I could have. Oh, that, that's, that's neither here nor there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's the dumbest thing we've done? That you um, that's a lot. Because we can unpack some shit. Come on. Ah, Unpack some shit for the internet. Let's go. Mm. Let's make something that will ruin my career in 15 years. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to think, man. <laughs> huh. I can't think of anything right now. Think of something for the dirt sheets to put me in jail Bro, for. Come on. My brain's farting. I, I can't. Oh, my God. Wait. What's something we did, Seth? We did a lot of stupid shit. I know that. Yeah, I was, well, I mean, it's me because I'm like, it's kind of my. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I either talk you. about wrestling or I just fucking, you know, do a bunch of dumb shit. It's like, if I'm not ranting about Stone Cold, I'm just doing a bunch of dumb shit. Tell us that. I'm, I mean, come on. You've known me for fucking five years. You you know you know how this works. <laughs> if, not, if I'm not talking about how Stone Cold changed the business with a middle finger, I'm fucking. You know, doing something stupid like fucking setting a bathroom on fire or something, you know? <laughs> something dumb. You remember that one time you told Mr. What's his name to drink bleach and then he had a jug of water? And oh my then... god. Bro, he was so annoying. He was so weird towards me. Oh my gosh, he creeped me out. It, see, since I don't. I'm oblivious to a lot of things because I don't pay attention. But I was, I'm just telling you, man, uh, he looked like he was trying to get somewhere, which was really fucking weird because you were in right? eighth grade. Exactly. That's, like, that's what I always say. How saying. old are we in eighth grade? Fucking 13? I was 12. What? I was literally 12. Jesus. And I was just like, um, My yeah, man no. Was trying to, uh, uh, and it I, was just, it uh, bothered me. He wanted my sister to be in like choir class and then I kind of oversold my sister a little bit trying to make her sound like a huge like good singer and then I she told me about it or I told her about it and then she got real mad at me and didn't talk to me <laughs> like oh my gosh and then uh she 
like she walked up to the teacher and he was being real weird so she was like fuck it i'm not going into choir yeah i i don't know he's he's scary and as you can see spongebob blanket in the background obviously as you should yeah obviously you gotta have a spongebob blanket man literally it's you know so you can't think of the dumbest thing we've done (laughs) what's one of the most embarrassing things we've done Besides me breaking drumsticks and all that other shit. Knocking over all the music stands when I came into school drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember um, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you were just fucking sitting there going. <laughs> oh, I almost, I think I almost broke my flute that day. Oh, my God. I, I remember I uh, told you, I was like, I, I looked at you and I was like, yo, I was like, you all right? Come on. <laughs> Fucking follow the sound of my fingers. You good? Like, Bro. I was just trying to make sure you were... I was like, come on. Let's go. Wake up. You good? Yeah, See if you can comprehend the thought or not. You know? Shit. Drinking that early in the day? Not the move. Yeah. I'm not a big... I'm not the biggest fan of drinking, to be honest. Really? I love I, drinking. I, I'd rather, you know... Uh, smoke a little of God's grass. I love bold. Well, my experiences with drinking aren't that much. Like, you know, I had a few beers here and there, but I never, like, hardcore drank before. So, uh, that might be on the bucket list. Since I'm moving to Arizona soon. Oh, really? What part? I think, um, I think we're moving to, like, I'm moving to Tempe. Because I'm going to go to Glendale Community College so I can learn how to screen write and then make movies and stuff. And I have an idea for a movie that I'm going to talk to you about later because I don't want it leaked anywhere. Ooh. I don't want, um, I don't want, like, you know, I don't want it to get patented and, like, everybody steal it from me and be like, that was my fucking idea! You know, shit like that. So, uh, we've already gone through first impressions and all that stuff. Um, how are you feeling right now? I'm tired as fuck, man. You should have slept before this because we're going for like, we're going until you want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm so tired. Way too much gaming. Oh, God. You got to fucking sleep every now and then. But like Valerie, it just... I don't give a fuck about Valorant. You need to sleep, goddammit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I very guess. good at the fucking game anyway. <laughs> hey, yo, chill, man, chill. <laughs> All right, I, I fucking cured your boredom that other day, fucking, because I woke up at 9 a.m. Oh, my God. I'm so and, thankful like, for you for streaming. I, I was like, oh, I saw that tweet. I was like, it's time to stream Mortal Kombat. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, there, there we go. So, uh, what's the funniest thing we've done? You didn't think of anything? No, my mind. It's empty. That's, oh, it's because you're tired and you're <laughs> tired. And... Chill, chill, chill. See, we got to do this when you're, you know, when you're energized and, you know, you're sleeping. Not sleeping, but, you know. Cause that'd be a little weird. You just snore <laughs> on the fucking microphone. And be like, <sighs> Snoring podcast? Let's go. I can't snore, man. If I do, it's gonna be some real over the top shit. <laughs> you know, that's how I per- that's how I do everything. All right. So, you got any favorite stories of just us in general? My birthday, probably. Which one? My- <laughs> year, my seventeenth. The one that's, where I was like, yo, happy fucking birthday. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically my favorite memory, because that's what got us back in touch. And then we started, you know, talking a lot more. And, mm-hmm. and We still need to go out. Yeah, we do, but, you know, I'm kind of working. I've, I, that's entirely my fault. I've been really busy. It's okay, man. It's okay. I, I started the podcast, and I'm working on my driver's license. I'm doing a whole bunch of shit. Mm, go you. And you know, I'm uh, 
hopefully not gonna you know crash into a tree anytime soon. Oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but um, uh, the uh, you already answered the fucking the the next question I had, which was um, favorite memories. But you already fucking answered that one. So. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how long we've been going for, which was, uh, it seems like 30 minutes. We normally go for an hour, but you want to just bullshit for the rest of the time to fill time? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I have to go play a game with my little brother at five, so we have time, yeah. All right, let me set a timer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You said five o'clock, right? 3.55. Uh, three fifty-five. Oh, uh, speaking of you know, three fifty, uh, not three fifty-five, but like words. Um, have you heard of a comedian named Bo Burnham? I think so. Uh, <laughs> dude, his newest Netflix special is oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> If you've seen my Instagram stories, you know that uh, he, his newest Netflix special is just, it's just, oh my, it's, yeah. All I can say is, oh my God. it It's really good. And it also, uh, it gets really depraved and depressing by the end. So you got, you got to, it's a whole roller coaster, but it's fucking great. And it's, I highly recommend you watch it. It's called Inside. Ooh, I think I might have to. Because it's... Because the guy fucking sings and, like, he does his own music and all that other shit. It's not, like, a stand-up comedy special. It's, like, a music comedy special. That's what he does. And it's... Oh, my God. It's fucking hilarious. Like, to the point where there is two or three songs that are stuck in my head on loop. And, you know, you know me, I'm very critical with my music intake. Uh-huh. If they talk about vagina more than twice, it's, it's I, I, I'd rather, I'd rather, <laughs> you know, I'd rather hear, instead of someone talking about how fat their pussy is, I'd rather someone talk about, you know, something meaningful, like, you know, cattle decapitation <laughs> or something, you know? <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I do listen to fucking some really depraved shit, if you think about it. I tried to, <laughs> I tried to have, um, so I listened to a band named Whitechapel, who, uh, yeah. their lead singer, his, his, both of his parents have died by the time he was like 15, and that kind of, that kind of hit a chord with me, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude, holy shit, this guy's awesome, <laughs> and then, uh, so I showed one of my teachers, uh, well, high school teachers i showed him one of their songs and i was like all right just tell me if you can uh tell me if you can say like you can figure out what he's saying and then the sh the song started he started you know screaming and then he was like nope can't do it <laughs> i was like well fuck all right that was real quick i guess you're just old <laughs> see with me i don't cut shit i'm I would say I'm a nice guy, but I also say a lot of the same things a lot of the same time. Like, I repeat things a lot. And yeah. I also uh, just don't carry conversations unless it's, unless I have a structured outline of a, like, interview. I'm pretty sure if you've listened to the first three or fucking four of, uh, like the early podcasts were complete shit shows, just <laughs> garbage. Oh my god, they're just who they're so bad. Luckily now I know how to uh, I know how to transition, and I know how to uh, write questions down and do research. I don't think you understand how much fucking research I have done over the last forty eight fucking hours. <laughs> So, because uh, in preparation for this one, I stayed up till fucking like six o'clock in the morning doing research, even though I already know a lot about you. <laughs> uh, 
I just fucking doing research and writing questions down and being like, oh, that question, shit, let me delete it, you know. <laughs> like, that's the fucking, that's the level of, I would say, dedication that I've put into these shit show of podcasts. So, uh, say if it's for someone like that Bam Sullivan guy who I was supposed to interview on Monday, but we rescheduled it for Thursday. Um, for him, I've known I've known about him for five years, so it was easy. I just watched a few of his tapes and his Twitch streams and like wrote questions down. But you, I already knew a lot about, but I decided to say, you know what, fuck it, let's do a deep dive. And then I, yeah, you ain't got no Wikipedia page, but I feel like <laughs> I made one. <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was a lot of questions, a lot of research, and. Uh, I don't understand why I get this deep into it. <laughs> I mean, it's good that you're dedicated. I, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> like, sure. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, let's tell a story about the sharpened drumsticks, how that came about. <laughs> oh Since we were talking about that earlier. So I could, <laughs> let, let's go ahead. Let's fill time. Well, that happened. I was really confused on like what was going on back there like mm -hmm. back in the bedroom just like uh okay whatever brushed it off and then we're like walking out of class and you come up to me and you're like i have a sharpened jumpstick <laughs> i'm gonna stab someone and i was just like didn't i say i was gonna eat yeah, steak man. with it and i was gonna fucking stab it and just pick it up and eat it i'm pretty sure you did <laughs> But that's just how the joke came around, man. Just stabbing someone with the drumstick. Just being like, yeah, fucker. <laughs> just instead of yeah. stabbing him with a knife like a normal person, I stab him with a musical instrument. It, I mean, music kills. I, well, I mean, if you're Kurt Cobain, yeah. But <laughs> oh my god. I don't care. <laughs> Bro, I mean, god. I can make Kurt Cobain jokes because he's been dead for 25 years. Who gives he's a fuck? So like, wild. Who gives a fuck? I listen to his music too, but he needs to be <laughs> not so depressed all the fucking time. It oh makes me God. sad. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fucking Nirvana record over here. I, I can judge him as much as I want. He's fucking six feet in the floor. Jeez. He's good. It's fine. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're fucking worried about what you got yourself into now, huh? <laughs> all right. So... Uh, it's 3.41. We got... 14 minutes. Yeah, you're, you're 13 minutes, yeah. So, um, what do you say we wrap it up now, and then I'll show you some shit off, off camera or whatever. Yeah, sure. All right. So, this has been the Culture Shock. Thank you for joining me. And uh, if you somehow listen to this shit, thanks, I guess. Download <laughs> it and all that stuff. Plug your stuff. Give me a minute. Uh Hi, uh, follow me at Rachel Diet on Instagram. Um, that's about it. Is it? The Twitch yeah. stream? I don't stream on Twitch anymore. <sighs> I got tired. All right. So this has been the Culture Shock, uh, where the land of filth and fuckery happens. <laughs> so uh, see you later, everybody. I'll record Bye, another episode tomorrow. <laughs>